Good morning, my students. Today, we will define chapter 13, lesson 9, 10, and 11. At first, the first question here, use formulas to find the area. Look at this shape. How many shapes form it from it? How many shapes are there? There are three. Letter, shape, letter A, and shape B, and shape C. The first shape is rectangular, and the second is squared, and third is square. Then we have one. The first is rectangle, and second is square, and the third is square. And now, we should remember the area of rectangle. Area of rectangle equals length multiply width. Yes. Area is equal, length multiply width. Then the, the, length, the length is here 1.9 centimeter and the width is 0 0.6 centimeter. Then 1.9 centimeter multiplied by 0 0.6 centimeter. By multiplying equals, the, the product is equal 1.14 square centimeter. Why we said, why it's uh, two decimal places because we have here one decimal place and we have here one decimal place then the answer is after two decimal places now shape number uh, letter b is a square and the area of square remember the area of square area of square equals yes side multiply side side multiply side and each side is 0 0.6 centimeter. We said it's a square, then the four sides are equal. Then 0 0.5 multiply 0 0.5 equal 0 0.25 square centimeter. Then the area of square, the letter B, or the shape B, equals 0 0.25 square centimeter. And letter C is similar like it. Similar like it, side multiply side, and 0 0.5 centimeter multiply 0 0.5 centimeter the answer is the product is equal to 0 0.25 square centimeter and now we calculate each one separate then we need calculate the area of z shape total area then this equals the sum of the this area then 1.14 square centimeter plus 0 0.25 square centimeter plus 0 0.25 square centimeter the sum of these values equals 1.64 square centimeter. The second question here is problem solving. A baseball diamond is really a square that measures 90 feet long each base path. What's the area of a baseball diamond. You tell me that it's a square. It's a square. And the measure is 90 feet along each path. Yes, each base. Then it's a square. Then area of square each value equals side multiply side. Then each side is 90 centimeter. 90 centimeter. Then 90 multiply 90 or 90 feet multiply 90 feet. Uh, how many zeros? There are two zeros, bring down two zeros. And nine multiply nine equals 81. Then the answer is 8,100 square feet. 8,100 square feet. Use formulas to find the area. What is that? It's a triangle. It's a triangle triangle then we have should we have we know the base and the height where is the base here and the, we should remember that the base and the height both of them are perpendicular then the base is 15 inch and the height is perpendicular perpendicular to it then the height is 13 and then we have base and the height base and the height both of them are perpendicular make right angle and we should remember the area of a triangle is, we should remember that 
there is a relation between the area of triangle and the area of what and the area of ring rectangle is the area or rectangle what's the relation between triangle and what we said before triangle and parallelogram no yes parallelogram it's the relation between area and parallelogram area of triangle and parallelogram then the area of parallelogram uh, the area of uh, triangle is equal to yes half multiply base multiply height half multiply base multiply height then area is equal to where is the base this is our base and this is our height then half multiply 15 multiply 13 yes half multiply 15 multiply 13 good then we need half of 15 maybe half of 15 is equal to seven and a half then seven and a half multiply by 13 yes seven and a half multiply by 13 seven and a half multiply by 13 then we multiply the answer 7.5 multiply 13 the answer the product is equal 97.5 square inch 97.5 square inch now you should remember that's a relation between the area of triangle and the area of parallelogram and the area of triangle is equal half the area of parallelogram the next use formulas to find the area of this triangle what is the base here yes the base is 2.8 centimeter and that is perpendicular means the line between the base and the corresponding and the line from the corresponding vertex this is the line this is our base and the opposite vertex is this one then the line the line from between the base and the opposite vertex it means height then the height is four centimeter now we have base and the height by substitute in our rule is area is equal half multiply base multiply height then half multiply 2.8 multiply 4 half multiply 4 multiply 2.8 then half of 4 half of 4 is equal to 2 yes then the answer should be 2 multiply 2.8 2 how can 2 half multiply 4 is equal to then 2 multiply 2.8 then the product is equal 5.6 square centimeter and the point after one decimal and here's one after one decimal point. now use formula to find the area of parallelogram we said before that parallelogram there is a relation between parallelogram and triangle the parallelogram the area of program is equal to two triangle area of two triangle then the area of triangle is equal half multiply base multiply height but the area of parallelogram is base multiply height base multiply height but where is the base and where is the height the base is seven centimeter and the height is 4.2 centimeter then we have base and height now I substitute to that rule the rule is a in area equal base multiply height base substitute base by seven and substitute uh, h is right mean 4.2 then equal 4.2 multiply seven yes we multiplied the answer is 29.4 square centimeters, point after one decimal place.
four multiplied seven equal fourteen. From the carry of one and then four multiplied eight. Four multiplied seven equal twenty eight plus one equal twenty nine. We have another parallelogram. Okay, the area of parallelogram is equal to base multiply height. But where is the base and where is height? Maybe it's a base. The space is ten and a half, and the height is five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Okay, then our rule is area equal base multiply height. Then base is equal ten and a half, and the height is five and a quarter. Converted ten multiplied to equal twenty plus one twenty one divided two, and the five multiply four equal twenty plus one twenty one divided by four. Then twenty one divided two multiply twenty one divided four. How we get twenty one? Ten multiply two equal twenty plus one twenty one divided two, and the five multiply four equal twenty plus one twenty. Yes, 21 divided by 4. By either, can you simplify? No, we can't simplify it. Then, multiply, numerator, multiply, numerator, and numerator multiply by the denominator. 21 multiply 21, and the 2 multiply 4. 21 multiply 21, and 2 multiply 4. The answer is 441 divided by 8. Why? Because 21 multiply 21 equals 441, and 2 multiply 4 equals 8. We, we need to convert it to mixed number. Then which number multiplied by eight equal 441? Yes, it's a 55 and the eights. Why? Because 55 multiplied eight is 440 and the remainder is one. Then the answer is 55 and one eighths square inch. 55 and the eighths and the eighths and the square inch. Uh, find the area of triangle. Find the area of triangle. If it's a base equal 15 uh, feet and the, uh, the height is equal to 3 quarter feet, then our rule is area of triangle is equal half multiply base multiply height. Then, then half multiply base is equal 15. Yes, 15. Multiply, we can change base multiplied or right multiply base. Don't worry about that. We can put both. Maybe half multiply because there, there are the product of three numbers. We can changing the order of the number or the places. Then half multiply three forces multiply 15 or half multiply 15 multiply three forces. Don't worry. Then and now we can. Simplify, can you simplify? No, we can simplify here. Four and five, no, two and up and down, two and 15, no. Then one multiply three equals three and two multiply four equals eight. Then the area is equal three divided eight or three eights multiply 15. 15 means 15 divided one, but also we can simplify eight and 15. There isn't any common factor between them. They multiply three multiply 15 and eight multiply one. 13, 3 multiply 15 is 45, and 8 multiply 1 equals 8. We need to convert it to mixed number. Which number multiplying by 8 equals 45? Then it's the number is 5. 5 multiply 8 equals 40. 40 plus 5 equals 45. Again, 5 multiply 8 equals 40. 40 plus 5 equals 45. And our units here, square feet. Our unit is square feet. Oh, and now uh, just talking about the area of trapezium. And remember, the area of trapezium is equal to how base one plus base two multiplied by height. Multiplied by height. Then we should know base one and base two and the height. Look, where is base one? Yeah, six and a half feet. Where is base two? Five and a half feet. And where is the height? Six and a half feet. Then all of them known for, for us. Then the area of, then we have base one is equals six and a half feet. Base two equals five. Base two, 
No, change, don't work. Then base one or base two, both of them don't work. Base one is equal to six and a half, and the base two is equal to five and a half. Okay, don't worry about it. Then, and the height is six and a half feet. Six and a half feet. Then, half, and then we'll open the brackets. B1 base 1 plus base 2 or base 2 plus base 1. Don't, don't worry about that. The longest plus uh, the shortest or the shortest plus longest. Not nothing. Don't worry. Then, half multiply 5 and a half plus 6 and a half in brackets multiply by 6 and a half. Then we should find the sum of them. 6 and a half plus six, 5 and a half plus 6 and a half equals? Yes. Half and a half means one, and the six and the five is equal to 11. Then 11 and one equal 12. Then it's a half multiply 12, multiply six and half. Half multiply 12, multiply six and half. And did you know half of 12? Half of 12. Half of 12 is equal to six, yes. Then six divided one multiply and six multiply two equal twelve plus one equal thirteen. Then half of twelve is equal six. Multiply six and a half means six multiply two equal twelve plus one equal thirteen divided two. Thirteen divided two. Can you simplify? Yes, we can simplify between two and six. Both of them divisible by two. Then divided two equal one divided two equal three. Then three divided one multiply thirteen divided one. Then both of them is one multiply, three multiply, 13 is equal 39, and one multiply one equal one. Then the answer is 39 divided one equal 39 square feet. We have another, the area of trapezium. Okay, uh, the area of trapezoid. Then we have uh, base one, yeah, 36 millimeter, and we have base two, 70 millimeter, and we have a height, 12 millimeter, okay? Base one is equal 36 millimeter, base two is 17 millimeter, and, be, and the height is equal to 12 millimeter. Now, we have the three known here, uh, no, three known. Uh, or three the value for this, base one and base two and the height. Half multiply, base one is equal 36, plus base two is equal 17. Then 36 plus 17, a breaks multiply by height, height equal 12. Then 36 plus 17 is equal to, uh, yes. Then half multiply, 53 multiply 12. Half multiply, 53 multiply 12. But is it easy to get half of 53 or half of 12? I think half of 12 is easy because half of 12 is equal to six. Half of 12 is equal to six. Then the answer is six multiply 53. Why we get six? Because half of 12. Half of 12 is equal to six. Multiply 53. And then, and then the area is equal six multiply 53 is equal to 318. And the average here, milli square millimeter square millimeter. Uh, we have a problem solving. A trapezoid has one base. That's a three times the length of the other base. Its height is twice length of the longer base. Its shorter base is 3.5 inch. What's the area of that trapezoid? We have, listen, number one. The shortest base here is one, 3.5 wide. You tell me its shortest base is 3.5 inch. Its shortest base is 3.5 inch. Now we have, we know that the shortest base, base one, for example, base one would be 3.5 inch. Okay, look here. A trapezoid has one base that is three times the length of the other. Three times the length of the other. Now we have the shortest. The shortest is 3.5 inch. Then the other or the longest base is three times, three times. 
the longest base equal three times the shortest. Three times the shortest. Do you know three times is three multiply? Three multiply, three multiply the shortest. The shortest is 3.5 and then three multiply, 3.5 is equal to 10.5 inch. Again, the shortest base is 3.5 inch and the longest base is equal three times the shortest base. Then one base that is three times the length of the other. Three times the length of the other. Then three multiply 3.5 equal 10.5 inch. Now we have the second base. Now we have two bases now. What about the, uh, the height? The height. The height, its height is twice the length of the longer. Is twice, is twice the length of the longer, the longer base. Where is the longer base here? Here is the longer base. Twice means multiplied by two. Then height is equal two times the length, uh, the length of the longest base. Two times mean to multiply 10.5 equal 21 inch. Then we have the height. Now base one is 3.5 inch, base two is equal 10.5 inch, and that is equal to 21 inch. And now we apply it on our rule. Then have multiply, base one is 10.5 plus, base two is 3.5, in brackets multiplied height, height is 21. And now 10 and a half plus three and a half, half and half means one. 10 and the 3 is 13, 13 and the 1 equal 14. Then half multiply 14 multiply 21. Half multiply 14 multiply 21. Why is it for 14? Because 10 and 3, yes, half and the half equals 1, and 3 and the 10 equal 13, then 13 plus 1 equal 14. Now, is it easy to get half of 14 or half of 21? I'm, I think it's half of 14 then. Half of 14 is equal to seven. Then seven multiply 21. Seven multiply 21 equals to 147 square inch. 147 square inch. And now we need to revise all the rules we have studied about area. The first, we started the, together the area of square the area of rectangle, the area of triangle, and the area of parallelogram, and the area of trapezoid. Now, the area of square equal side multiply side. We can say S multiply S. Area of square equal side multiply side, or S multiply S. The product of the two dimension. The two dimension in the square are equal. Okay, the second is area of Rectangle and the product, the product, the two product of rectangle length and width. Then the area of rectangle is equal length multiply width. I can replace yes length L multiply W. Then L is mean length and W is referred to width. The third is area of triangle and the area of triangle equal half multiply base multiply height. Half multiply base multiply height. And the area of parallelogram is base multiply height. And we, we say before that before that there is a relation between area of parallelogram and the area of triangle. Look at the rule here half multiply base multiply height. And there is base multiply height. There is a relation between them. There is a relation between them, between of them, between area of triangle and the area of parallelogram. Then the area of parallelogram, uh, area of triangle is half the area of parallelogram. Area of triangle is equal to half the area of parallelogram. Then if we drew, if we have, uh, yes, the area of parallelogram is equal, base multiply it, but the area of triangle is equal half the area, half the area of parallelogram. And the last rule here together, area of trapezoid, and the area of trapezoid equals half base one plus base two in brackets multiply by Height. And when we answer it, firstly, calculate the sum and then try to answer 
maybe it's half of the sum of variable, uh, half of basis or half of height. Okay. Uh, this is our revision about these rules in area, and I hope uh, you understand well our lesson today. Yeah, thank you, my friend, my student, and uh, yeah. next we'll make a revised revision about our lesson which we studied before, inshallah. Thank you.